here you see today we will be starting the new chapter the cell as a unit of life this is chapter 8 and this chapter would be basically an introduction so introductory chapter will be dealing with what is basically a cell is okay so now here you see what is cell cell is basically the unit of life okay so unit of life means all organisms are composed of cell that means whatever living organism you see around you whether it's a plant cell or an animal cell whether it is unicellular or multicellular whatever organism they are all made up of cell now here you see a single cell organism is known as a unicellular organism a many cell organism is known as a multicellular organisms okay so one thing that is uh, very very clear is that unicellular organisms if you see for example a bacterial cell an amoeboid cell or any kind of a paramecium cell now these cells they are capable of independent existence what is independent existence they can exist independently okay without any other supporting cells and this is capable of performing essential functions of life that means it can perform the functions for example nutrition respiration energy change energy production reproduction and every and the response to stimuli whatever they do they basically they all do it independently so that means what unicellular organisms here is known as a cellular independency that means they are capable of independent existence without any other supporting cells and even the systems within the cell that means the functional system within the cell they are also independent of each other now here if we see to the detailed structure of what is cell so here you can see in front of you the name Anton von Leeuwenhoek. So Anton von Leeuwenhoek is supposed to have the first person to have discovered the cell. So basically he discovered the cell. He, he discovered the cell referring to the cell wall only even Robert Hooke. He also, his name is also there, but here Anton von Leeuwenhoek, he was the first person to uh, coin the term cell and he actually uh, referred to cell showing the cock cambium. What is cock cambium? The outermost bark of a tree is known as a cork cambium and here that is dead cell wall so he's he found out a honeycomb like structure referring to the cell wall only. Later on, later on when things became more prominent and uh, the electron microscope was later discovered so it was robert brown the it was robert brown who discovered the nucleus okay so it was robert brown who discovered the nucleus so hence hence one thing was clear it was to be discovered that what cell is the functional see cell is the fundamental structural unit and functional unit of life so basically what is cell cell is the fundamental structural unit and the functional unit of life and basically they are visible now how do you see a cell basically they are visible under the simple microscope okay so simple microscope if you see you can see the outer cell wall and if you see the electron microscope here you can see the detailed internal structure so what so when uh, we'll be and having regular classes then I will be showing you this simple microscope what I have mentioned here basically is a simple microscope with only one uh, magnifying lens and again we have the compound microscope here we can if uh, permanent slides are there that is visible through it now here if you see see the cell theory now cell theory is basically a very very important part now the cell theory was discovered by Sheeden, Sean and Rudolf Virchow see uh, Sheeden and Sean, Sheeden was a botanist and he examined a large number of plants and observed that all plants are composed of different kind of cells from the tissue of the plant see basically we know that cells have show different level of organization in multicellular organism what is the level of organization in multicellular organism that we cells join together to form tissues like that so here i see you see that uh, Sheeran and Sean i was telling Sean was a zoologist so they both collaborated together and another one was Rudolf Virchow now they started different type of animal cells Sheeran uh, animal plant cells 
Sean started as being a zoologist, he studied the animal cell and then he saw that the cells do not have a cell wall but they had got a single layer, very thin layer that is known as the plasma membrane. So he also concluded on the basis of a study that plant tissue that the presence of the cell wall is a unique characteristic of plant cell. So later the Sheeran and the Sean together formulated the cell theory. The theory however did not explain how new cells are formed. See I said three scientists Rudolf Virchow he explained that the new cell arises from pre-existing cells pre-existing cells that means what the cell divides to provide and he made the hypothesis of Sheeran and Sean and gave the cell theory the final shape what was it see these two points all living cells are or living organisms are composed of cell and products of cell and secondly a single cell arises from the pre-existing cell so in my next class we'll be dealing with overall structure of a cell